Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Murky skies and version conditions persist in the Treasure Valley. However, each afternoon, the clouds have been breaking over the past few days from Mountain Home, Magic Valley, warming well into the 40s, even some 50s. But Boise's taken a while, but today, and here's a view from our tower cam now, we're looking towards the west from downtown Boise. Still very hazy here, but you see the cloud cover has broken. If the camera was pivoted all the way the other way, it would look much brighter as we had some sunshine and a little bit less haze out there. And this is kind of the, the back edge. You can see right here the thick cloud cover. That's about towards Meridian, and that'll go even further to the west tomorrow afternoon. But likely the low clouds and fog will come in again overnight, and then it will develop more sunshine will develop quicker and further to the west, and so the temperatures will come up a bit as well. In the meantime, my three degree guarantee shows that our high temperature today I expected to be around 35 degrees. I expected to be right at 35, and it went up to 36 degrees. So right in that mark again, I do expect those temperatures to kind of hold steady. Uh, it places to the west, Canyon County, Weezer, Ontario, not much of a change, mid 30s, but points to the east are going to warm up a bit. We'll get those temperatures back into the 40s. So some good news if you just brightening the skies and just that not oppressive feeling of that cloud cover and haze just kind of hanging overhead. It gets better the further east you go. And of course, the higher elevations have been nicer as well. So look at the high temperature in Mountain Home, 48. Magic Valley today, Twin Falls for a brief period of time hit 55 degrees today, a sign there's some warm air around. Now, we're going to get a cold front to come through Thursday, and so this number will come down, but these numbers here will come back up. We'll get more balance in the Treasure and Magic Valleys as the air gets stirred up a little bit. But in the meantime, we have a chance of some snow showers coming in during the day on Thursday. Meantime, 41 in McCall while it was 36 in Boise, 43 in Stanley. You can see the inversion in place. A little light, light rain is now falling in Baker City. We had a trace of rain, and that's tracking towards towards the east, so McCall is likely to see a chance of some snow showers because it's cold enough there for some snow. I want to recap January for you to let you know just how cold it really was. If you've been wondering these numbers, I've got some for you here. Average temperature 19.6, that's the average of the high and the low together. And that is 11.7 degrees below normal, which is significant, way below normal. In fact, if you go back to 1865, when records began uh, being kept, the Boise, uh, at least for the National Weather Service, uh, two different locations, 10th coldest in 150 years. That's a pretty cold winter. And if you go back to 1940, when the National Weather Service moved from downtown Boise out to the airport, this is the fifth coldest January on record. Precipitation wise, uh, one and a quarter inches, just about where it should be. And as far as snow cover, how about this? 28 out of 31 days with an inch or more of snow cover. And on those other three days, there was still a trace of snow. So we've had snow for the entire month of January and all the way back to December 31st as well. We got below zero twice, I should say minus three, the coldest temperature twice this month on the 21st and 22nd. And we actually got below zero four separate times. So a cold January indeed. Currently, not much going on 30s, still some 40s where it was warmer towards twin. But notice these little little areas of blue showing up. Some sprinkles of rain pushed through Baker City, and we'll probably get some snow showers pushing through uh, the McCall area overnight tonight. Latest radar sweeps bringing in those latest echoes right here. The Boise radar showing these light snow showers moving through the Wallawa Mountains. Those will track into the McCall area tonight, so maybe a dusting of snow as those continue to move to the northeast. There's not much to these, so not expecting any big storms. Although Thursday, a little bit more impressive of the storm system is developing. So some cloud cover above the inversions kind of building towards the Magic Valley got rid of their sunshine today. More snow up around the Panhandle near Spokane and rain near Seattle, but it is further to the west where all the activity is. There's three storms, one here, here, and here, and these storm systems are kind of rotating around themselves. So on Thursday, this moisture will move through. The storm system will follow in right behind it, and that'll basically blow the inversion out of the Treasure Valley. We're going to get some sunshine, but as it comes through, we have a chance of some snow showers in the Treasure Valley. So we'll watch that closely. In fact, in the future cast, if we push to head to tomorrow afternoon. You see tomorrow, or I should say late tonight, the snow showers go by. Tomorrow afternoon, 3 o'clock, we're generally dry. Here's the next system comes in for Thursday, and it's not that impressive. It's kind of elongated. You see the chance of snow showers Thursday afternoon, but watch right down here, Thursday night, everything starts to stall. Some computers want to throw moisture back over us with some snow. It may not hit the Treasure Valley, but mounted home south towards Twin Falls and points out there could be some heavy snow here headed into Friday, so that's something we'll have to watch very closely, and I'll keep you updated on that. In the meantime, here's my Treasure Valley forecast coming up for tomorrow. Now, this is what I expect. The Western Valley, Canyon County, Westward, Caldwell, we may get those broken uh, clouds, but Ontario could stay mostly cloudy. Well, we'll get 
Afternoon hazy sunshine points to the east, 42 in Boise, 47 in Mountain Homes. So the fog in the morning, it'll be mild. Cloud cover will again give way to that sunshine later on. Long Valley 20s in the morning, then 30s. Although Boise County, Idaho City gets up to 41 with a mix of sun and clouds. Don't forget a couple snow flurries tonight. Maybe a stray snow flurry for Stanley and Sun Valley with temperatures in the 20s and 30s. Really not a bad day. And in the Magic Valley, it was mild today. And I'm going to go above what the computers are saying, saying 50 in Burley, 52 in Twin tomorrow with sunshine, nice weather in the Magic Valley. Here is your on your side extended forecast. So tomorrow will be a little milder as we get a little bit of sunshine out there, but it will be during the afternoon though, not in the morning. Still a gloomy morning, a chance of snow showers later in the day, Thursday, Thursday night. I think Friday will just be a, a breezy, chilly, refreshing day. 41, the sun is shining, the sky's actually blue. Didn't Sorry. No, I was just to say we're working our way through it. We are, and the weekend nicer. Yeah. Really uh, which is perfect timing. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Scott. Coming up on today's six on your side.